sometimes it's hard to tell which wheel bearing is noisy. Um, this one definitely does get noisy when I turn left. So I'll just put, put the load on the right wheel bearing. So I am thinking that it's this passenger side that's noisy. But um, in order to verify, what you do is you just disassemble this whole thing, uh, remove the CV joint from the hub, and then you just spin the hub freely. And if the hub is noisy when spinning, then you know that's the wheel bearing that's noisy. spread that too far just in case it cracks. really that noisy. Might have to check the other side. This is the side that's noisy. So when driving and turning to the left, the noise got noisier, and when going to the right, the noise went away. Now usually when you load up that side, if I go turn right, that puts load on the left side, uh, usually a bearing gets noisy when it's under load. In this case, it was noisy when the load went away, went over to the other side. Strange. Bosses on the phone shouldn't be making noise right now. First one to find what I'm looking for gets stickers from me. Too late. Oh, 
when the uh, C-clip sticks. You can use a punch to break it loose, get it moving. The other thing you can do is lift the clip out of its seat. You want to pick a race that goes through this whole opening. Boss is on the phone again. Have to wait. It's an interesting story here. My uh, stepdad came to Canada in the early 60s and uh, he sold this press to the place that I'm working at. Uh, I applied here in 1992 not knowing that uh, he sold this press, press to them. Uh, so that's quite interesting, huh? You don't have to go nuts cleaning it, just uh, check for major pitting uh, or any major wear in the uh, hub surface. It can be reused if it looks good.
a good bearing kit. A good bearing kit will come with two uh, snap rings, the bearing axle bolt, and possibly even a pinch bolt. Assemble in the reverse of removal.